Okay, guys. Don't judge me. I bought a knockoff Devastator. Alright, um, I've actually had these guys for a while. About maybe a year or two. And I never wanted to do a review on them because they were knockoffs, of course. But, uh, they're, they're okay. I mean, like, they have a lot of differences. One, the plastic. Two, uh, none of their heads you actually fold out except for long hauls. And long haul, you don't fold out his hands. And, eh, it sucks. And, like, all of their limbs and stuff are hollow. Even the head. I mean, like, there's the, there's the head. There's a hole in it. You can see the light through it. It is hollow. So, yeah. But I'm doing a review of these guys. The one good thing about this, though, is that on the original, um, other reviews I've seen, it says the hands fall out really easily. These, these actually stay in there pretty nice. Nice and tight. But, uh, yeah, I hope to get the Encore one that came out not too long ago, I think. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, anyway, we're going to start with... Uh, we'll, we'll start with the feet. So, you and you. Uh, I am going to show you how to transform them in robot mode, don't worry. Alright, well, we'll start, we'll start with Scavenger, the leader. Scavenger's the leader. He's this little uh, steam engine thing, whatever it's called. I don't, I don't know. See, watch. Oh my god. Um, yeah. So, does that. You know, lift it up. Lift it up. There's his head. There's his head right there. So, uh, transform him. Hold down his legs. Stand him up. And put this back just a little bit. And you can't see what I'm doing. And I need to go grab something so you can see what I'm doing. So hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. I, I just don't feel like hooking the camera up to the tripod right now. So, let me lift you up. Like that. Um, yeah. See, has, even as a knockoff, Septicon simple. Focus. Focus. See? The stickers are kind of cool, though. I mean, they're white. They're not, you know, uh, silver, but... Or chrome, I guess, but yeah, whatever. Um, articulation, you can move his arms all the way around. And I guess that is a knee joint or whatever, yeah. I like to bring the arms forward just a little bit. Alright, uh, get him to his foot mode. Flip that down, do this, and sort of uh, just do that. It kind of helps better once you get him connected with Mixmaster onto the foot thing. But, uh, yeah, this, he's the right foot. Mixmaster... One of my favorites. He's cool. Little barrel spins, he rolls, you know. Transform him, fold down the cab of the truck, pull out his arms. You're dead. And I do have the little missile things for that, but they don't shoot out because there's no button. And you can see up here, uh, since this is a knockoff, I don't really care. I had to put super glue on here to sort of tighten this because it just would fall out of the thing. So, yeah. So yeah, you can go pew pew, move his arms all the way around, blah 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 blah. And I guess you can kind of count this as an articulation point. If you do that, it kind of looks like he's sitting down. Yeah, I'm just sitting, just sitting around, yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, get him to his foot mode. Fold, basically put him back in his robot mode. Lift that part up, and there you go. But what I like to do is I like to fold the wheels around. Gives him a little bit more of a robot look. And I'm just going to put the gun back right there for storage. I just put it in sideways, though. So, yeah. Alright, going to take the leg piece. Yay, leg piece. These actually fell out all the, fell off all the time, too, so I had to super glue them in because they're not screwed in like the original. So we're just going to clip him on there and put you on there. And there you go, the legs. Put them to the side. Now we're going to go to the body, which is... Hook and long haul. We're gonna do hook first. Hook, you know, is a crane thing. This can turn. This can extend, but it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, yeah he's got a little hook, and it's hollow there too. So, yeah. 
Um, and that little peg right there that would fold in on the original just stays out. <laughs> no turning that. But yeah, transform him. You want to fold down the front of the truck and pull out the arms to sort of bring them up because they are loose as crap. I don't have his gun, so yeah, deal with it. Deal with it. Remember, this is knockoff, so I don't have to pull up their heads except for long calls. But yeah, to get him to his body mode, you just want to transform him back into a car or a crane. Then pull him out. And then sort of fold it in like this. Make sure these are kind of lined up, though. So, like that. All right, long haul. He is probably one of my favorites because he's the one who's most close to transforming him. Except you just don't fold out the hands. And I just I have always loved dump trucks like this. These are these are cool. Mix mix master's cool though. But yeah, transform him. I'm gonna pull out the arms first, otherwise they will get stuck. Same thing on this side. Then fold down the body and waist and stuff and fold up the legs fold back this piece and flip up the head and there you have long haul in his robot mode he is awesome long haul is cool all right get him to his uh waist mode push back in the arms if you can um and then fold up his legs like that then we're going to take the head i, I am devastator we're going to put it on a hook like that and then we're going to take this little crotch piece which sort of uh, matches the one that he is on and I'm assuming that it just gets ginormous so long haul is pretty lucky then uh, we just connect it right there do a port and a peg port and a peg blah 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 there is his waist and body and head and stuff now we're gonna make his arms out of bone crusher and scavenger who is he is my favorite vehicle mode because this is this seems to have like the best play value of all the vehicle modes. It just, it looks awesome. I mean, it can turn all the way around. It's got this freaking arm. Rum. But sadly, he has the worst. Uh, these two have the worst robot modes of all of them. So we'll do Bone Crusher first to tease a piece of crap. Fold down the legs, about like that. Bring up the arms. Fold back the cab. There's a little green head. Fold up the thing. You can have it like that if you want. But that that looks better, kind of. Fold up the feet. And, yeah. yeah you kind of have to keep his arms out like that because they're on ball joints. Unlike the original where it would actually bend at one point straight down. And they aren't crappy-ass ball joints, too. Excuse my French. But yeah, get him into his arm mode. You just want to basically put him right back into his vehicle mode. Literally. Now, I'm not... Uh, I'm not being mean or anything about sounding all sarcastic with these guys. It's the Devastator and the G1 uh, Constructed Cons are awesome. But these, these knockoffs are just... <clears throat> and I knew I was buying a knockoff. That's why uh, I'm kind of pissed about my to myself. Yeah, just plug in the arm piece and yeah, put it in the hand. It doesn't shoot out, but that's, that's kind of cool. That's as much as you can bend. So we'll put that down. Now we're going to scavenger. Holy crap. Rah. Sorry, I like doing that. It's awesome. Um, you basically just want to fold that down like that. Fold out his legs. Turn the little feet him. Feet. Feet. Sorry, I just got done watching up to bottom. It's his review of this. He said, turn to feed him. Yeah, sorry. No, don't judge me. I can't help myself. Yeah, pull out his arms and sort of bring him forward. And his head stays inside. You only see half of his head. That really sucks. Um, but what's cool about them, I guess, in the original, if you move their legs, they would move at the exact same time. But these you can do them uh, individually. So if he does have his gun, it's on the back and just plug it there. Pew, pew. Let's get him into his arm mode, which is basically his vehicle mode. 
except with one other exception. We're going to fold this little piece out. But holy crap. Um, yeah. And then we're going to take his arm piece and put it on there. And, you know, put the hand in and put on devastation gun, you know, all that. And in the show, actually, this part right here transformed and became the arm. So that that would have been cool if they made that. I guess you can kind of take off his hand and fold that down. You can have, like, a little cool stubby arm if you really wanted to. So, yeah. All right. Now we are going to make, you know, we just got to say it. Constructicons, unite! Okay, I'm sorry. That was my terrible impression of scavenger. But, um, yeah, you just want to take this and plug it on right there. And then he's going to start getting weight. And scavenger's going to start falling down. So what I like to do is I like to fold one of his arms inward and stuff. And it sort of makes it all equal out in the end. Maybe if I just, no. Just about right there. All right, and then we're gonna take his arms and plug him on. Plug on bone crusher. And if I can get down, and then we're gonna plug you on right there. If it will get on. I know you didn't see that, but you've probably seen plenty of reviews of this uh, figure. Well, probably not this exact one, but you know what I'm talking about, Devastator. All right, now we're going to lift up the camera once I get up off the floor. Oh, there he is, people. Devastator. The knockoff version. Holy crap. I mean, it's cool. It looks like from far away, you, you, can, you can probably not even tell that this is a knockoff except for the stickers being white. But, like, in the... Or unless you were looking at the back of him and you saw um, Devastator's hollow head. But yeah, um, man, I just having this makes me want to get the actual one. Holy crap, he's falling. Hold on, Hold on a second. There we go. So, yeah, don't get knockoffs. Uh, but try to get the, at least the better knockoff version of this. Because I know there is one. Because... Um, that's the one that Optobotomish Hatch. He said it in his review of uh, one of the add-ons that he has in the knockoff. Um, the KO Toys version, which is the one that I wanted to get, but it was too much money. So I went with a $20 deficit. <sighs> anyway, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.